So I just came out to my garden to gather all of my cauliflower and <laughs> I don't know how I missed this but I have the most giant cucumbers right now. Like look at this. They're huge! <laughs> Holy cucumber! I swear that neither one of these were here yesterday. I don't know how I missed them. <laughs> They're giant and beautiful. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> so now I want to gather my cauliflower. I think it's pretty much all done. Put these in here. I grabbed my knife so I can chop my cauliflower. As you can see, my cauliflower is looking pretty good. Actually, it looks like some might not be quite ready yet, but this one definitely is. Um, and then let's check this one. Oh yeah, this one is already almost too far gone. And then this one's still a baby. So I'm not going to get all of them. She's beautiful. She's so pretty. Let's get up. As long as it's not a pincher bug. I'm spying on my acorn squash. And I have little babies. They're so cute. Let me show you. You can have one right here. And then one back there. I'm gonna take these inside and soak them in some salt water to make sure there's no bugs in there. And then I'm going to ferment them. I'm gonna do a salt ferment. I have been loving my garden lately. It has been such a treat for me to wake up every morning and start my day outside in the morning sun, watering my little plants. I used to always envy people that started the day at 6 a.m. every day, jumped out of bed, started their day with a workout and getting outside and getting fresh air, and I just could never do that. And gardening has been the only thing that has been able to encourage me to get outside and get myself in the sun and get my hands dirty every morning. I ended up fermenting about half the cauliflower into a salt ferment 
and then I did the other half just frozen in small Ziploc bags that I washed and cut up small and put into the freezer to be thrown into soups or stews or random things like that. Right now I'm house sitting for my parents and my mom has about six blueberry bushes all around her backyard and I noticed that they were starting to get ripe and look like they were ready to be harvested. So I spent the afternoon picking blueberries and I have to say there's something so relaxing about sitting in the sun and doing something mindless and repetitive like picking blueberries. I just got to sit there in the sun and for part of the time I listened to audiobooks or podcasts and the other part of the time I just sat there and talked to the dogs and enjoyed the quiet. One of my goals this year is that I want to take as many seeds as possible from my current garden and save them and dry them and store them for next year so I can do more of my own starts for my garden for next year and not have to buy starts. The last time I was over at my grandparents' house, my grandpa gave me this little wooden box. He said that it was his stepdad's and I guess one of his friends had made it for his stepdad and he found it in the attic and asked if I wanted it and immediately the first thing I thought of was that it would be perfect to save my seeds in for next year. One of the things that I love so much about summer is not just the fresh vegetables from the garden, but also the herbs that I get to cook with. There's something about fresh herbs that just makes everything taste so fresh and summery. I also have been loving that we've had so many eggs lately, and I have been on an egg kick. I have pretty much been eating two eggs every day for lunch with a piece of sourdough toast and fruit or some sort of vegetable and that has been my go-to lunch recently and I have been loving it. This is a really good example of a normal lunch for me. On this day, I am eating a cucumber salad. I'm chopping up a cucumber from my garden with some rice vinegar, sesame seeds, some sesame seed oil, a little bit of maple syrup, and salt. And I am toasting up a piece of sourdough bread with some peanut butter on it, along with two eggs from our chickens. I have also been loving my raw milk lately. I've been making this concoction with chocolate collagen powder, some ice, and some cold milk, and I have been loving it. It basically just tastes like straight up chocolate milk, and it is delicious. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will have many more videos to come. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.